fine so in day 2 ok I'll make a new Java project ok and I will name it as day 2 now if I have got different driver classes right like a Firefox driver iDriver Chrome driver then how do I work with different driver classes ok let me just add the jar files of selenium I'll go to the project properties go to Java build path libraries and add the jar files these are the jar files let me add the jar files fine and out here okay uh, in the reference libraries I'll have the jars now if I make a new class known as say browser launching fine and out here what I will do is that I will have a variable like string browser fine equals to say Mozilla so my code should be such a code that suppose I want to read this variable Mozilla and I want to open the Mozilla browser if I change the variable name to Chrome tomorrow my script should be dynamic enough to work on Chrome so whatever script I am going to write over here should be very dynamic that if I am if I am writing Mozilla over here the script should work on Mozilla if I am writing Chrome then the script should work on Chrome right how do you how do I make this happen okay because if I write over here if statement that if browser is equal to Mozilla then I have to launch the Firefox driver ok right else if the browser is equal to Chrome then I will have to launch the chrome driver ok out here I will have to put this else if the browser is i ok I will have to launch the internet explorer driver okay so you launch the Firefox driver Chrome driver and i driver okay fine and the problem which we'll face is suppose if I'm launching Firefox driver and I want to navigate to the website then I will have to use this FD object dot get say the website is a simple one uh, gmail.com if I'm using Chrome driver then I'll have to write Chrome driver dot get if I'm using i driver I'll have to write i driver dot get to the URL now, this is a problem because I just cannot rewrite the code again and again okay I cannot rewrite the code I'm stuck here I, I just cannot write separate code for Mozilla separate code for Chrome and separate code for i ok also uh, hold on I will set the system properties in the top at the top only for both i and firefox just a moment so this system property is required for i and firefox I have set them at the top ok and over here I am initiating the browser of my choice but the problem which I am facing is that I have to rewrite the code again and again so how do you solve this problem this problem can be solved with the concept of interfaces fine ok so what is an interface in Java right uh, a very simple example you can take what is an interface first of all 
uh, what do you mean by an interface for example if you uh, buy a book from a market okay you you want to read a novel and you come across you stumble across a novel in the market and just by the cover face of the novel you come to know that fine this novel is actually um, giving me f giving me these few things okay this novel is about this 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 subject okay so the cover face of the novel is like an interface which tells you that what novel will be about or for example you visit any website you visit my website qtp selenium.com okay the interface of the website tells you that what we offer we offer uh, training in selenium and qtp and mobile automation on this website okay right so this is what an interface does it tells you what the system is going to do and similarly in java also we have got interfaces for example i'll make a new interface okay right and i'll call it a very simple car interface okay public interface car now what are the features of the car car has a feature that it can start it can accelerate fine so these are the two features of the car in interface you keep the functions but you only keep the function declarations you don't keep the function bodies okay you just keep the function names i i'm sorry right you just keep the function names that start and accelerate okay you don't give the bodies to these functions fine okay so what this interface does okay what this interface does is that it actually um helps you okay it actually helps you to tell what car is all about right what car is offering you fine car car is offering us two features start and accelerate now interfaces are always implemented in selenium okay right interfaces are implemented what do you mean by that for example i'll create a new class known as ford okay now ford is a for ford is a car okay so what we do is that we write public class for ford implements car fine okay just a minute somebody was calling me i think okay so many requests have come up okay i never saw it i think people from batch have added me right so this class is implementing the car interface okay fine now when a class implements an interface okay right what it has to do it has to implement all the functions of the interface it becomes mandatory for the class that's why i'm getting an error over here okay that's why i'm getting an error that this class is implementing the car interface okay right i have minimized it it's the skype is minimized right so this ford is implementing the car interface okay so you will have to move this mouse over the error and select add un unimplemented methods so both these methods will come up so if a class is implementing an interface it becomes mandatory for the class to implement all the functions of the interface it's not that you can just ignore one function and ignore uh, and you can implement one you have to implement all the functions from the car interface 
right this is the function start you can write over here car starting or you can write Ford car starting and Ford car accelerating fine this at the rate override this is known as an annotation this means that this function is coming from the interface you can ignore it as well you can remove it as well it's not mandatory but if a person is looking at your code for the first time just by looking at this sign he will come to know that this function is getting implemented from the car interface similarly I can create one more class known as uh, say BMW so public class BMW implements the car interface okay so once it is implementing the car interface right it will have to mandatorily implement all the features of the car right that is uh, hold on it will have to get both the functions okay over here I can write 